Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I know I look very pale and strange and my nails don't look good today, but we are here to talk about the new palette from Linda Halberg and it's her new Infinity Deep palette. Look at this beautiful packaging. I love these shades, I love these colors and I watched her video where she talked about and swatched this palette and she created also a makeup look that I watched. Everything looks stunning. Uh, this is the outside packaging here on the back. It says relieve your inner creator. Let's just call them colors. Infinity Deep palette is the ultimate product beyond no rules. Eight colors with infinity possibilities. Use them for sculpturing your face, eyes, brows, cheeks and body. Relieve your inner corner. This is similar or not similar, but it's the same idea that as the first infinity palette that I have. It's dirty. It's very used and loved. This is the palette I travel with because it has some shades. I kind of mix these shades to create my eyebrow shade. I use these for, for uh, the cheeks. Uh, this is for contour. This is a little bit as a bronzer. It's a little bit too yellow for my uh, use as a bronzer, but I do use it when I have tan on. And this is beautiful eyeshadows, but also highlighters that I use. So I do like this palette, very well used, but she also really released the Infinity Deep palette, deeper shades. And on the packaging, you can see the shades here, but look how beautiful it is. And I kind of like this packaging more than the usual black packaging because I just think it's more her. She's an amazing creator, amazing makeup artist. I really, really love her. how she blends her eyeshadows. Uh, she looks so stunning in all of the, her photos on Instagram that I will put link down below on to her uh, channel so you can check it out and watch her talk about this palette. But here are the shades. Look how beautiful they are. Yes, they are used. Of course I used it. I couldn't keep my hands on it. And I'm going to swatch them fast for you. They are very creamy, very soft. They are very pigmented, easy to blend. I have nothing bad to say about this palette. Nothing bad to say. I think that... I do think that... Let me see if I can take this. Now if you can see all the shades. They, they are buildable, so that's good. But they're also not very dark pigment, so you you do. They're very buildable, but also very pigment. I really, really like these shades, and uh, I think these the Infinity palettes are beautiful together. And I think I can only take these and have everything: blush, bronzer, contour, eyebrows, cheeks, eyeshadow, highlighter, everything. So that is amazing. But I'm very glad she created this. And I did play with it, of course I used it, can't keep my hands of it. And today I'm going to use it all over my face. Not the eyebrows though, because I forgot. I forgot that I'm going to use it on my eyebrows, so I already filled my eyebrows in. And I did use the gel over, so I can't kind of go in with some powder, it's going to look strange and messy, and I do need to have my makeup look stunning today. So I'm going to use it all over my face. I also use this in L'Oreal, infallible 24 wear foundation that I love but also for the purpose of this video I also use this infinity filter loose setting powder that I really powder I really like it it's in shade light love this and the thing I can't live without it's her puff powder puff amazing I also had it in my last giveaway and I'm definitely going to put it in my future giveaways because I love this and I also have her Eyeshadow, eyeshadow brushes are uh, brushes that I really like. So if you want to see me create makeup look and use it on my face, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to use the shade of contouring. And they are powdery, so you have to be careful. But also pigmented. Can you see that? They are very easy to blend. And I'm so happy that you can use this all over your face. 
I also have some of her colorful uh, crayons, like pens that you can use all over the face. And I'm kind of sad she had created, I think, kind of metallic eyeshadows, or um, I think it's metallic and some more natural shades for a crayon with some natural shades. But I haven't bought those, and uh, I wish I had money to do that. And all of her eye brushes. She has one more kit for face. I haven't used that one. I wish I could, maybe when I get rich. <laughs> but right now I can't afford them. But I, I'm really sad because I swatched them in the stores. And they are so beautiful, those metallic eyeshadows. Or shades that you can use all over your body too. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to use as a bronzer. Scared, but also very interested to see. So we're going to use that. Let's see the brush. So I'm going to use my sheer cover studio brush. And it's very powdery. Let me tap off some. Ooh. Ooh, very pigmented. Let's try to blend that. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely give me some gives me some warmth. But I think mixing mixing it together with the other shade in that other palette that would be more suitable for bronzer. But this blends like a dream. So if this shade is going to if this shade is something that you use in a bronzer, you're going to love it because it blends very beautiful. If you use bronzers like this shade, this is going to blend beautifully over the face. It's a little bit too, it kind of turns out, a turns out a little bit red on my skin, but it's a beautiful. And I'm going to use it as the eyeshadow today, of course. So, hmm. I'm going to use this one as the blush. And it's deep intensive but we're going to use it it picks up a lot I'm going to tap off it on my hand a little bit and let's go in Ooh, oh my god this is stunning shade it's pigmented though so if you have my skin tone or a little bit lighter you have to be careful but this is stunning, stunning as the as a blush, and it blends beautifully. I'm going to kind of go over with my powder powder brush, powder blush brush, so I can uh, take it down a little bit. But it's beautiful. I love the shade, especially for winter. Looks like my cheeks are warm and they look healthy. Really, it looks like, uh, you know, when you it's very cold in, outside and you go inside and your cheeks turn red. I love that. And this is how this gives me that feeling. Loving it. So let's go and use it for the eyeshadows. So I'm going to take Linda Halberry brush and use this light year. This will be also beautiful as a blush, but more natural. And I already prepped my eyes with the Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. Um, let me take off this beautiful mirror. So stunning. Perfect transition shade. And it, it blends beautifully. Love the brush. I want to have a couple of these in the future because I love her products. Uh, they are vegan, not tested on animals, and you can use it on face, lips, body, wherever you want. And I really love Linda Halberg and her makeup looks and her makeup. And I really hope she will come out with foundation because I love her, love her powder. I use it all the time. I also love my Huda Beauty. But I'm using this over it because this one is, it is good for oily skins and it keeps me matte. But it's not a matte finish. It kind of has that natural glow. 
I can't explain it, but it's a beautiful powder. I really love it. And it comes in three shades. I think three shades. Uh, translucent, light, and uh, deep, if I'm not wrong. I already have video on. You can check it out on my channel. And if I remember, I will put link down below. But I really think you should check out her products. This shade is beautiful. I'm going to use the same brush and go in with this shade. This is Umbra. Umbra, I think it's called. You see how easy it, easy it is to build it up. I just want to say that I'm not a makeup artist. I'm addicted to makeup. I'm a makeup lover. And I uh, just love to experiment with my eyes and create some different makeup looks. I know I have hooded eyes, so sometimes I do makeup looks that kind of makes my eye look smaller, but I love to test everything to see how it's going to look on my eyes. And I'm not afraid of that. And ooh, what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to take this deeper brown, red shift, and it has a kind of red um, tone in it. And that doesn't really turn out great on my, with my highlighter, but with highlight, bronzer, I really like it. Ooh, this is pigmented. They are a little, little bit powdery, so have that in mind, but I don't care. I never cared if eyeshadows were uh, too powdery. I just didn't want them to go all over my face and I don't have uh, just a little bit I do have just a little bit fallout but let's see if we can yeah it does disappears it doesn't stay on and doesn't stain my skin so that's good but look how beautiful that is so I just tapped it on and it kind of blends itself can you see that I don't kind of I don't like when eyeshadows are too blended I don't know why it's just something I prefer, but this blends itself. And I really want to dig into this red shade. I'm going to do that. And it's not as red on my eyes as it is in the pan, but it's easy to build up. Can you see? It's buildable. And I'm not going to build it too much. I do like how it comes out on the eye. I think it's going to be more pigmented if I go in with fingers. Let's try. Yeah, it's more pigmented when you go in with finger. But I'm not going to build it too dark because I want this outer corner to be more darker than the rest of the eye. So I'm just going to blend it in here. I just wish I could afford buying all of her makeup. So I want to go in with... I did try this shade all over my eyes. I'm going to have it under, under my low lash line. And this shade is the reason why I bought this palette. This shade here, can't pronounce the name. It's the reason why I bought this palette. It's beautiful. But I'm actually going to go in with this solar, the yellow, the yellow one. And I think I'm going to use my finger. Oh, I had the black, I should have taken it off. As you see, you do need to build up the shade. And I think it's the reason, because she made it like this because you can use it as a highlighter and if you make if you make it uh, naturally too pigmented i think it's going to be harder to use it for something else so i do like this but i'm going to try to use it with a brush and this is one or double brush from revolution make a revolution i'm going to pack it on the uh, on the brush and i think i'm going to wet it as this 
just to see if we can make it more intense. Yes. And if you put some concealer on your eyelid before you apply this shade, I think it's going to come out more pigmented and also more intense. But I'm not going to do that because I don't usually do that for everyday makeup looks. And I want to show you how this is going to work without. So I'm going to go in with this red again. I want to dip out this brown again. Kind of blend it away a little bit. I think it's easier to pack it on. If you want it to be that intense and uh, just keep packing it on taking away and it's not going to blend away that easily so if you want to see it's very easy to blend this shade you want to be packed on for the intensity I don't know if this is too dark to be my highlighter I think it is so I'm not going to use it as a highlighter but I'm going to try to put it here in the corner but if you have deeper skin tone this is going to be a stunning highlighter for you okay, I'll powder so don't go hard in with brush and I'm going to go over to my lower lash line and I'm going to go in with this shade first I'm not going to use black liner on my lower lash line because that, that makes my eyes look smaller. And I know that I sometimes create makeup looks that already make my eyes smaller, but if I go in with a dark liner on my lower lash line, I'm not going to have any eyes. So what I prefer to do, what I'm doing for these last weeks, I go in with white or with the beige in liner from uh, Nip and Fab, the Build the Ball, that makes my eyes look stunning. So, where is that brush, where is the brush? So let's take this and go in with this shade. I'm going to take this, the first Infinity palette, and I'm going to go and mix these two as my highlighter. Can you see? That's a beautiful highlighter. And right now I have her sister and they are going to travel with me everywhere. So I'm going to put some uh, white liner on my lower lash line and mascara and I'll be right back. So guys, I put some mascara on and I remember that I haven't tried the black shade for eyeliner. So I'm going to go do, do that right now. And I'm going to use this brow liner pen, eyebrow brush pen, and you can use it for eyebrows also uh, as a thick eyeliner brush and I'm going to go and try to yeah it's black that's good and if you wet it I think it's going to look stunning let's let's do that let's wet the brush and see how it's going to look I'm not going to do a wing or maybe I would try a small wing. No, I won't try that. Can you see the difference between? Yeah, I like it. I'm not going to put any lashes on because I'm not going to have them. I have a Nip and Fab lipstick in shade Biscuit, I love this shade. And I'm going to have this shade a little bit over it, Polar Star. Oh, look how stunning this is. 
I really love this Snip and Fab lipstick, but it's matte and I think I love it more right now with the shade on. It gives me such a nice sheen. I know Linda Halberg is never going to watch this video, but if she does, I love this palette. You did an amazing job. I love it. And I love the first palette too. It's very loved and very used and definitely going to continue using it. I have to say I'm really happy how everything turned out. I think this is a stunning makeup look and a beautiful eyeshadows and also beautiful sh uh, shadows to use all over your face and of course on the lips. I think this is amazing and I love this palette. I really want to do more makeup looks with this palette so please let me know down below if you want to see that and if you're interested to see that. Um, I'm going to zoom you in so you can take a closer look. Uh, so guys, I think I hope you like this video. If you did, don't give, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.